Hey guys. It's Vanda. And it's Robert. And, and welcome to Vibrations, Vibrations from, from the, the Soil. soil where, where you can take your life back and put your health into your own, own hands. hands. That's right, guys. That's what we're about, taking your health into your own hands. You being your personal advocate for health advice by listening to your body, listening to your internal organs, understanding how you were magnific magnificently designed and um, how to uh, achieve the best, you know, um, reach deeper inside of yourself um, and around yourself to grab the resources that are vital for you. And uh, don't take the things in that are harmful. So um, today we want to thank Boss of Houston, uh, The Naked Truth, and uh, for you guys tuning in also um, at this six o'clock hour in the H-Town. It is chilly willy out here. You know, this, us Texans don't know how to deal with that, but we are managing. But um, so remember what I told you guys about winter, you know, hey, what happens and what's going on. So today, you know, we're all, we've been talking about water. We're gonna stay on water another day because um, it's essential even in the winter. But uh, uh, do what you have to do. Tune in to uh, Tuesdays at 6, p at 6 p.m. to 7, as well as on Thursdays. You can catch Vibrations from the Soil with Robert and my lovely wife, Vanda. And it's also more than chilly out here. It's freezing out here. <laughs> you want to get a special, special shout out to H Town. She's from California. Freezing out here. My wife from so California. Remember, those kidneys need to be covered. Your stomachs need to be covered, ladies. Right. Your kidneys want to stay warm. You yeah. want to keep something around your throat. Right. You want to keep these organs covered and heated. Yes. Yes. Take it serious. I know you want to be cute, but you can be cute in turtlenecks too. That's right. Come on. That's a way. Let's cover the it's body. It's a way to be cute. And help. Protect the body, because like we said, the, the winter is going to slow down the bloodstream, so you want to be drinking warm teas, mm -hmm. warm lime water, warm soup. You yes. want to heat the body up, and you want to help the body as it goes through this transition, because the body naturally wants to hibernate, and you want to hibernate with healthy habits. That's right, and more iron, more iron. Up your greens, the intake of irons, you know, mushrooms and other um, essential fruits and vegetables that are fortified with iron because our body begins to um, release that. We need to put it back in. Um, so guys, we were talking about water, and last week we were speaking on how water um, is essential, and we know how essential it is, but um, people frown their nose up at it or, or turn to the left, to the right, and uh, think that um, just give me something that tastes good when um, that wasn't always the case. You know, we should get our fruit, our taste from fruit, you know, our, our sweetness from fruit. So if you want something that does taste good, I mean, mix it with some water. Mix that fruit into some water and then find your good natural sweetener and create what you need that's going to be taste good and supplies your body with optimum um, nutrition as well as, um, you know, high, high hydration because that's what we're lacking and we also you also can drink tea you can make sweet tea mm -hmm. um, like he said and you also can make alkaline soda so maybe next week when we come in we'll show you how to make alkaline soda right here right in front of the camera it takes less than five minutes right. it tastes just like sprite and it's alkaline so there are ways around the bull crap or, bl or blend any fruit and throw it in there and you got a cherry soda you got a uh, it's uh, delicious. Strawberry it soda. tastes just like Sprite. You have whatever flavor soda you want. You get that you burning feeling and everything. The yes. only thing is you're not getting the toxins and the chemicals and the low pH that's destroying your body. That's right. So we got to wake Sugar up. We got to get knowledge. Fructose. We, we're in this age of Aquarius. We're in the age of getting knowledge, but we can't just get the knowledge. We have to right. use the knowledge. That's right. We got to use the knowledge, guys. It's all about applying and executing because that's the only way you're going to reach your goal or to understand how this system works and to be one with it because it's about self-love. So love is, hey, what are you going to put in yourself um, so that what comes out is the same expression that you were uh, visualizing, you know? Um, we all struggle each and every day with um, our reactions, our actions, and um, what we put in can help that. You know, um, I must say, I, I, we, us men, we have a lot of testosterone, and uh, we have egos attached to us, and we have to, you know, get in tune with our uh, feminine side a little bit. So we must start understanding how to eat on a cellular le level, so that um, we can be more ginger or more, more, yeah, ginger. You need some ginger during the winter, so you can be more, you know, loving or more soft. You know what I'm saying? And uh, raise your, your vibration and uh, also get more um, uh, 
uh, energy to your brain and that's what it's all about we want more energy to our brain and there's a lot of ways to get energy to your brain um, and one essential way is water um, what, what would you have there? You have a little piece there about water and uh, on our brains or just how and it... Water improves brain function. function. Yeah. Remember I told you, mm -hmm. drink the coffee yeah. and get the water. Right, you got And you I got know it. that's hard for a lot of people because they want that instant energy. Coffee gives you instant energy with a crash. Water gives right. you long time energy with benefits right. for a lifetime. Yeah, we, we, we uh, a lot of people think they're hungry and they're just thirsty and dehydrated. I tell myself that all the time. <laughs> if I know that I've eaten and I think that I'm still hungry. I'm like, okay, you're not hungry, you're thirsty. No, you're thirsty. <laughs> so we gotta so wake up to this knowledge we, and use we it. We have to, we have to apply it, guys. And today, um, later in the show, we're gonna just give you a lot of um, tips to help you with your water um, consumption and what type of water to be consuming. Like water, water is water, but like I said, today we're gonna be on some cold and some hot type of water, just so you understand the balance of that. But here we go, guys. Um, water improves brain function. Do you feel distracted? Drinking more water can help you focus better. Your brain thrives when you consume water. If you need to feel more alert, coffee might seem like an obvious answer, but caffeine might not be the healthiest route. Water can also boost your energy levels, especially during exercise. Your brain is a fatty organ and needs plenty of water to stay hydrated. If you aren't drinking enough water, your brain can shrink. Remember, we keep talking about that, that that is what's happening. That's why people are running around here with mental illnesses, because of the food we're eating is shrinking our brain. Understand that, guys. Uh, it could shrink your brain a bit. Making a transition of electrical signals and communications from it to your body more difficult. So think of your brain as a sponge and make sure you keep it in water. Plunge plumbed in water, okay guys, because it's, it's essential, you know, from not just hydrating the capillaries and the blood because our blood is made up of water, but our most, our most thought, our most process of our thinking, you know, our, our most es essential spot of our, 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 my brain, you know, what, what we're going to, what we're going to do, you know, is our brain, you know, is giving us that, uh, that uh, exercising uh, energy to say, okay, hey, this is the direction I want to go, but hey, if we're distracted or we're at unease because we're not supplying it with enough water to keep it, you know, controlled or, you know, balanced or just happy, you know, we, we got to feed our body not for, to make us and just happy with, you know, how we want to feel, but we have to understand the cycle of our body and what it wants so it can truly be happy. You know, we just, we want that feeling and we want gratification in instances. And a lot of times it doesn't happen in instances. It takes time, even with water, you know, to hydrate yourself. It's just not one glass of water. You, it, it's going to take water. It's consistent, consistent glasses of yeah, a consistent amount and a consistent amount that you're drinking every day. Day, yes, and regiments. I mean, staying like like us, uh, like we say, a cycle, yeah, a routine, be unbalanced. a healthy drink habit. Drink one cup one day, drink four cups no. the next, drink two cups. You no. got to say, oh, I'm gonna drink eight cups today and for a whole month. Then you'll start reaping and seeing the benefits, but see nobody's doing it in a consistent. Um, cycle yeah. to reap the benefits. And like we said, that, that and you and you and you can do this by when you go to the restroom, it's check your color. Check the color of your urine, you know. See what color it is. If it's dark yellow, you having issues. If it's yellow to brown, I mean you got some problems. You you need to you need to check out some things because you're working your digestive system and that's not good. You really want it to be clear. So that's what you're shooting for. You want to go to the restroom four to five times a day and have clear urine. You know, so that's when your system is flushing and doing the and, and working in an optimum way. And uh, you're going to feel the brain. You're going to feel your energy levels. You're going to feel um, hydrated. And uh, you're going to begin to get uh, the, in the phytonutrients into places that it hasn't been in a while, like to your, your, your hair follicles and to, you know, your nails and to the last things to receive nutrients. And that's what they're, the, that's what they're relying on is you giving your body adequate water so that it can be fulfilled, you know, it can be balanced, it can be new, it can be nutri nutrition, it can have neutral. nutrients, yeah, uh -huh, it's neutral. Neutral. exactly. I also want to recap, um, it helps with improved mood, mm. 
Um, it helps with headaches and migraines. And right. I really want to touch on that again because I hear so many people that say they struggle with migraines their whole life. I know my mother struggles with migraines. And a lot of the times, 90% of the time is tied to dehydration. Um, also, it flushes out toxins, and that's the reason why people are carrying around that tire. We call it the tire. I mean, my mm -hmm. husband call it the tire. Spare tire. You know, that gut, the spare tire. Yeah. Um, you're not flushing out the toxins. And you can and flush you're that piling, out. You're piling toxins on top of toxins, and you're not flushing them out. Right. Also, it prevents cramps, um, which cramps, I, I believe, I'm a, I believe cram you, you cramp up because the blood flow yeah. is not okay. circulating yeah. there. So the water is going to help the blood flow, which is going to relieve cramps. Mm -hmm. Also, it promotes healthy skin. Also, it fights bad breath, and it also boosts the immune system. Okay, guys. And with all of that being said, guys, this is this is really the way of drinking water, and that we're we're not understanding. If we just think about um, our ancestors or back in the days, um, you know, uh, they were outside. Uh, there was no uh, refrigerator. You know, we have this technology today and we have this electricity and we're, we're just blessed to have it. But a lot of these resources are, uh, these modern invention, inventions, they're not, they're not working along, they're not working in symmetry with our bodies. And we have to understand that because did our ancestors consume cold water every day, all day? We must understand that our body has a certain temperature, um, 98.5 or 98 degrees, and if we drink cold water and we bring it down or up, I mean, you don't know what you're doing internally because your system, hey, wants to be balanced and stay around that temperature. You know, you don't want it to overheat, but you don't also want it to fall below, you know, its uh, core temperature because then it could do damage internally to other organs, and so we're going to touch on that, you know. Um, so um, warm water is the key, guys, and um, a time to consume it, um, day, night, um, midday. Um, we're going to discuss some of that, but it's important the way you consume your water, which we're, we're saying is um, 120 degrees or 140 degrees Fahrenheit or just um, medium room temperature to uh, not boiling hot, but just something that you can handle, but you'll feel the ease in your body saying, ah, thank you. Um, so just stay tuned, we're gonna be right back to dive into that and uh, how to consume this warm water, all right? Be right back, Vibrations from the Soul. <laughs> guys uh, Robert here um, thank you for coming back um, here we go um, warm water guys is uh, essential you know um, more essential than I say cold water and I think on the average people who don't like water and then they go to start consuming water the first thing they do is they want it cold you know everybody thinks "Ooh, give me some ice and I want it cold and you know just got to dress their water up and I totally get it and understand but really just like I said, did our ancestors or did, you know, did they have water when we lived outside, when we were out in the wilderness, when we were on the land? Well, did we have water, you know? Just think about it, guys. Did we have cold water? Yeah, did we have cold water? I'm sorry. Did we have cold water? You know, just think when it got winter, what did they do? Did they drink cold water? No, they were looking for warm water. They were brewing tea. They were making things warm. So understand, even when it was summer, they still were drinking the water at room temperature. They was not freezing it. How did they make their water cold outside? Just understand. But that was the natural essence of um, the body's temperature um, and connected back to nature. 
you know so that's what we have to start understanding that we are one with nature but if we fall out of context with that well then guys we're losing the cycle of hey how efficiently we could be how great we are so um let's dive in a little bit drinking warm water check this out guys it's best to drink warm water first thing in the morning okay right before bed also um but to achieve those benefits that i'm saying you know great rest to achieve great rest you know before you go to bed warm water first thing when you wake up warm water okay why okay prevents aging who doesn't want to prevent aging this is one magnificent fact of <laughs> warm water understand warm water i did not say cold water warm water guys so our bodies accumulate toxins we know why we know why it's because we're prone to and then we become prone to illness and aging okay but warm water can promote blood circulation okay and the acceleration of the gastrointestinal tract motel the motility and accelerate the urination which can accelerate toxins from our bodies and that's what we need to accelerate these toxins to get out of our bodies so do you understand what warm water is doing cold water is not going to do that it's not going to accelerate and it's not going to do anything it has no benefit in there it's going to do harm so because it, it's going to clog it's the best thing for constipation pushes it out yeah it makes you go to the restroom it accelerates the toxins it, that warm water it promotes the blood circulation remember i said we're 70 percent blood our blood has 70 percent water in it you know and this is the key that blood goes throughout our body to every organ to give us optimum health so how does it get there and how do we keep it clean and how do we keep it you know doing its job effectively hey warm water okay ease pain as she said pain 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 who wants to be in pain so i'm gonna go get me some aspirin and then take me some cold water with it and i'm ready for the pain to go away silly 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 that's what we're doing guys because that's what we've been taught and that's what we see and come on guys we have to understand that no warm water again warm water okay ease the pain warm water is a potent natural remedy for easing pain it does i mean just think if you were painting on the outside of your leg you could get a bag of warm water or something warm and you put it there if you you know hit your knee or whatever but just think if your pain's internal as well it relieves inflammation so here we go guess what here you go it's a potent natural remedy for easing pain from menstrual cramps it's the best medicine um, it can ease headaches migraines stomach aches all cramps it improves capillary circulation okay it helps relax the muscles in the body and that's what you you can feel when you drink that water and when it's warm say, you can you can that. you can feel it immediately I've experienced all just of that. you know that those muscles in the body just make them relax and that's what you want and we've been taught wrong we go get aspirin you know and then some cold water to just rush down and you know we're, we're, we're doing things in reverse guys or uh, upside down you know and we have to get back to the natural order of our bodies and the nature of how um, we're connected back to nature you know or to the land um, so here we go as well it could reduce your blood pressure everybody is giving themselves high blood pressure because what they choose to eat but why won't they drink warm water because they don't understand the benefits of it drinking a cup of warm water every morning can accelerate excursion of salt. Come on, listen to it, listen, listen guys, in our body. A process which dilutes the viscosity of the blood. This is what I'm talking about, the blood is number one. It has to flow through giving us the vital nutrients in every organ. So that's what we wanna keep purified, you know, the blood. So it lowers blood pressure and prevents hypertension. Warm water every day. You know, like I told you last time, if anyone comes to me, the first thing I tell them from weight loss to any illness is water. And I tell them warm water. <laughs> Guys, it's the first, it's the first and ingredient to And if you really want to get, it, get those toxins moving, to add a key lime to the warm water 
and it turns into a powerhouse. Yeah, ginger. Powerhouse. You know, ginger, but cayenne, right. pepper. Right, I have experienced um, warm water take away my menstrual cramps. I have experienced warm water take away my headaches. I have experienced warm water. It relaxes you. Right, it right. It puts you in a relaxed state. Exactly. And it also heals the gut. I can't even explain <laughs> What warm water <laughs> does to the gut, and I'm not talking about one glass, I'm talking about if you right. drink it consistently, if you get up every day, see, right. he's telling you to drink a glass a day and a glass a night, see, I would wake up and I would have a, I would get my day started with about three, four glasses mm -hmm. of warm water, and my, it's like my, my gut was thinking, thanking me, like after a couple of weeks, my gut was just like in a relaxed state, it's hard to explain, but your gut's just like, ah, it's so relaxed, and when you go to the bathroom, it's like, you know, you sit on the toilet and it's like, boom, ah. it's, it's no smell, it's out. Yes, and no smell. And people don't want to talk about poop, but we got to talk about poop. And it's easy. Because it's important. And it's very and important. It, and it, just, it the release is so easy and you cannot believe, like, this is how it's, this is how you're meant to go to the bathroom. Yes, yes. No smell. And, the, and it's like the gut is singing to you and not <laughs> just that, you ah. lose weight. It's like the number one I mean, it's the best thing you can do for weight that's loss. Right, that's and right. people look at me so crazy when we tell them, start drinking warm key lime water, th two to three cups as soon yeah. as you get up in the morning. People look at me like, no, it's got to be more than that. <laughs> and they don't, they don't do it. And I'm over here, and they're like, oh my God, you look amazing. And I'm over here, drinking lime, drinking lime water. Robert, how did you lose all that weight? Lime water. <laughs> water, warm water. So it cleans up the intestines. Warm water cleans up the intestine. Ah, it's good for the digestive system. It can accelerate the speed of food decomposition and improve digestion. So it helps to decompose the food internally to emit it out of your body. Come on, warm water, guys. That's how you're losing weight. Up the intake of warm water and watch what happens to your body, to your brain to the cycle of your system. Oh, don't you system understand? Too. Acceleration, circulation. These are the words, e excretion. These are the words I'm using. And all of that is like aiding the body, like making the body so full of energy now because, hey, it's continuously now working for you. It has cells. Like I said, your cells are the only thing that has your best interest at hand for you, your cells. Now, are you going to help your cells? Warm water helps your cells. It also helps you sleep wonderful. Wonderful, because I guess the body's in such a relaxed state that you, for people yes. that have sleeping problems, listen to me closely. Warm <laughs> key lime water every day. Yes. Give it about three weeks, yes. and you will close <laughs> your eyes and wake up, and you will not remember. And you will have the most peaceful, peaceful sleep you've ever had in your life. Stop taking these pills, these man-made pills. Drink water. That's right. Warm water. Listen, guys, this is what we do. Check this out. This is what we do. I'm going to read this real quick. Drinking water, drinking cold water after meals can counter pro be counterproductive can be counterproductive. That means null and void. It, 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 can, it can mess up the system. It can shake up things it, it can, in a negative way. That's what drinking cold water after you eat. Cold water solidifies, <coughs> solidifies oils and fats in the food you have just eaten. Who's doing that right now? If you're doing that right now, give me a call. If you're doing that right now, 832 Six four nine eighty four zero six. If you have eaten and you're drinking cold water right now, hey, you're solidifying the oils and the fats in your body right now. This creates fat deposits and makes digestion more difficult. Because Replace it with shot. warm water. So now you're going to go to the restroom and you're sitting there and you ain't getting out nothing. And you over there. Well, the body's in shock mm, as well. It's because you're, you're taking the temperature down. You're no. like, ooh, I'm gonna feed it this toxic food and then I'm gonna shock it. And solidify the oils and the fats in your capilla in your capillaries and in your blood vessels let me, to uh, be well, constricted. Let me, let, me, well, let me tell you what they do in other countries. Other countries. You be jumping the gun no. on me, baby. But you no, be jumping but let me tell you already. because this is so important. In other countries, most places they don't even drink after they eat. 
They don't even drink because exactly. they believe that the food needs to digest without you trying to force it to digest, flushing it with water. But when they do give you something to drink, it's a cup of warm, warm water, water or a cup of tea. That's right. When you're in these other countries That's and right. you eat, they give you a cup of warm tea or a cup of warm water. But we're Why do they do that? But we 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 so systematic. They don't drink. We're no, so politically they're correct. They're not drinking we do everything no cold wrong. water. No we're soda, so politically correct. No we do smoothies. Everything wrong. No, they ain't drinking nut iced teas. They ain't drinking none. They drink warm tea or little little bit, and they give you a little bit, a yeah. little bit of warm water. We we so right here in America, but we do everything wrong to ourselves. We we so actually I ju- I kill ourselves. To jump we the harm ourselves. Tell them that because yeah. they do that, and I find that very very right. amazing. All right. And again, like I said, it improves blood circulation okay accumulated deposits in the nervous system now we're back in our brain and fat deposits in the body are eliminated when you drink a glass of warm water this process helps flush out toxins that are present throughout the body which in turn aids blood circulation and like I said when we circulating in a positive way now we got synergy going on and these cells are doing what they supposed to be doing and they're happy and they're knowing that you are loving yourself and that's the biggest issue here. When we go about and go on these chip aisles and we consume that MSG and we get that sugar and we go to these restaurants and we consume all these fatty foods and these oils and then we wash it down with cold water or we drink cold water before. What, they serve you cold water? Oh, sir, would you like some water before I bring you your food? Sure, bring me a glass of cold water. Man, you're setting yourself up. Most people aren't even drinking the cold water, they're drinking soda. But, but we're so correct here, and we're so, we ready to tip these places and just dine and wine, and, but do harm to ourselves. We have to wake up and get in tune with, hey, nature and who we are and how we're connected to the exi- our existence. And we have to look at the past. We must do our research, guys, okay? Because blood circulation is the key to health, great health. Great health, okay? So warm water also enhances the quality of sleep. As she mentioned, you know. Like a baby. It's most important, most important. Like in the womb. Yep. (laughs) Because you came here in water, as we, (laughs) you came. Warm water. You came in water. You were not swimming in ice water in your mama's belly. (laughs) Let's get back to it, baby. (laughs) Talk to us, baby. Was you in cold water water in your mama's womb? I don't think so. Because her body temperature is 98 degrees plus with you in there, at, taking all her nutrients. Come on, let's, let's understand how this goes, how it works. We just falling way out of context because we love commercials and we listen to people and we believe in systems that are untrue, untrue. So, so I just wanted to say something, this is way off. But so people that don't even drink water they drink sodas and smoothies and Starbucks or whatever they drink after they eat. Oh, no, no. So the water helps the blood circulate. The warm water helps the blood circulate. So if you're not drinking water, you're clogging up your pores and your blood it. is basically turning into slush. Right, right. It's like turning into like slush right. and it's no longer moving. Right, right. It's no longer flowing. Right, so right. So these are why people are getting these blood clots right. and these headaches. Hypertension, and all heart of these disease, problems, everything, clogged arteries. The yep. blood's not flowing because the right. blood is probably too thick. It's probably thickened up. As For my well. man, erectile dysfunction. That's what it that's what's happening. Okay? Like um, go watch game changers. So are you saying their private part needs water? Yes, the blood. It's all about the, the blood. blood. And the private. Mm-hmm. It's blood. Yeah. It's your flow of blood. Like I said, guys, go watch Game Changers because on there on they Netflix. on Netflix they show you when they test athletes' blood from consuming a bad diet and a good diet. Okay, and it shows you just after that one meal or that day of that activity, the the the, the difference in their blood. You know, so just think if they had, had, had warm water, you know, but go watch that documentary, um, Game Changers. That's what I'm saying, the people that's not even drinking water at all, their blood is basically not moving. No, it's, it's, it's toxic, and it's hard for um, it to go into the organs because it don't want to supply negative, so then you know, the energy. So starts to shut Your down. Your energy, yes, yeah. Not just shut down, it, it, it just starts to be um, bacteria. It starts to get riddled with toxins. Mm-hmm. It starts now to set up with infection. And guess what? Now, dis-ease. 
you know? And we're giving this to ourselves, guys. We're giving this to ourselves. We're just applauding it because we, you know, believe in everything that everyone has told us instead of listening to true knowledge and understanding that if we went back and saw how we used to live and had perfect health, instead of believing what we're doing today is good, for, uh, good enough, you know? Who just wants to be good enough? Or who just wants to settle, you know? You're not settling financially like that. You're not settling, you know, in relationships. And some of us are. Well, but we they, must they raise are. our standards and our levels they and are. understand, hey, in our relationships, understand, and, and, and our financial, how to overcome those with healthier habits. And that's what we're teaching here is these healthier habits and techniques and remedies that apply with, hey, the true system of how you are designed. Okay, guys? So enhances quality sleep, all right? So when you sip warm water during meals, especially during dinner, and before, warm water before, and before you go to bed, you will help your body to relax and soothe your nerves. Amazing. Soothe your nerves, guys. Best sleep you'll ever have. In turn, this can help to be induced sleep. Like I said, the ultimate rest, the ultimate sleep. I've experienced it. You know, we're, we're just so out of tune because we'd rather go pop that soda and go um, drink something else and we go to bed and now, hey, we ain't sleeping like we should, you know, but we can have optimum sleep and rest. Well, they're fighting against it because they're drinking the caffeine, they're drinking the, um, the Starbucks and they're drinking all these things the that is aiding and serves. keeping them awake keeping yeah. them agitated, keeping their body stressed, keeping the body hyper. So that's why a lot of people aren't sleeping anymore. And then they top of that, they don't drink water. Right, right. And so now, um, warm water, I mean, we're in the winter. Come, I mean, we're in winter, guys, and we told you what happens in winter, and we keep speaking on the blood, you know. So warm water is vital right now during these winter months, you know. We must keep our bodies at, our, mm -hmm. at, at, a high, at our, our temperature, at our um, core temperature at 98 degrees. So consuming this water to help blood flow and to keep us uh, fortified with uh, nutrients flowing, circulating, toxins being excreted, warm water, guys. It's a must. It's a plus. All right? Come back with us. Um, vibrations from the soil, Robert and Vanda. Hey, we love you guys. We're going to see you get there. You pretend that you don't know all the things that you do. You did wrong. Daddy, I have no free snacks at my PE today. Mama said she was going to watch her last week, but I guess she got busy. As usual. Go get a pad, my time, Jonisha. Dang, I can get five minutes to myself around here. Hey, Ty. Why the hell that fool always beating on my goddamn dough? Bitch, you pregnant again? Bitch, you know motherfucking well I'm fixed. Try again. If it ain't yours, I know damn well Zoe ain't had nobody in here. All right, guys, we're back. We're back just to uh, come keep on dropping facts because uh, that's what we like is to give you um, the answers. If you have questions, call in 832-649-8406. Um, anything about water um, will be essential or whatever you have to say or whatever's on your mind. We would appreciate it. But uh, water, warm water, you know, um, is what we're really speaking about today. Okay, since we're in these winter months, um, like we said, how essential warm water would be. And uh, people get colds and flus and sicknesses. And, uh, you know, why would you drink cold water? You know, um, most of us still do. But um, if we do get these colds and these flus and these uh, sore throats, um, we know that we should be consuming something warm, some tea, some soups, uh, some broths. You know, all of these things are essential. Um, warm, okay? So here's some facts behind that. Um, like the dredge or the mucus uh, out our nose and in our throats, okay? That's what warm water is for. 
okay? When we catch a cold, a cough, and a sore throat, drinking warm water is the best natural remedy. Again, the best natural remedy. Because it's flushing. That's right. Like the ocean. I, it can clear, it can clear phlegm, phlegm from the respiratory tract, and the heat helps clear a stuffy nose. Just the heat, you feel me? Just the heat of the warm water. Because you know the water, when it's warm, it has that uh, condensation. So that's just like an antihistamine, you know? That, 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 those, those vibrations of that, uh, of that, of that uh, you know, steam gets into your throat, into your nose, and begins to release the phlegm, you know, and clear out the stuffy nose. Okay, now as my wife was saying earlier, Thus, the Asian people always drink warm water to recover from colds instead of the hills. Fact. <laughs> fact. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, we, thing they do, but, they but we, we adopt none of that, you know? We, we just go straight to a pill. And then we flush it down with some cold water for, for, for a flu, a cold, for any symptom we have, guys. And we have to start, you know, correcting that, you know, and put it back in order because you're not working in order with your body. And um, if you begin to, then you'll see how it appreciates you and you'll begin to want to do it more and more and more. And then you're going to be reaching that optimum level of health that you didn't know was attainable. And it's really easy because we don't, we don't understand that these small things that are needed within are vital are vital and that's water you know number one water warm water guys so as my wife was even saying earlier um, poor defecation you know poo 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 nobody nobody poo poos right because that's why everybody got these spare ties and you know what I'm saying the, the jiggly wigglies and you know wah 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 all that you know what I'm saying and we do it because hey again we abuse ourselves we abuse what we eat we abuse as people to ourselves <laughs> we abuse ourselves you're in an abusive relationship with yourself with your health <laughs> with your help, you know, abusive <laughs> relationship with your help. <laughs> Seriously, guys, and it's not, it's, and it's not to be uh, coming on you hardcore, but it's to say we have to be more mindful. We gotta open our eyes up and understand, you know, truly. And, and this is to every community, or even to those who truly want to be honest to themselves. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm here because I was honest to myself to, hey, make a change. You know, and to know that I wasn't, go I wasn't gonna let my children follow in the same, you know, um, steps that we were taking that we traditionally adapted or adopted from uh, our mothers and our grandparents, you know. We, we had to look deeper, you know. My mother had cancer and I'm like, dude, where did it come from? And they tell you, oh, every, it's g from the genes and you're going to have it too. So that, that sent bells in my head ringing, you know. Do I want to pass this down or do I have it too and how can I prevent it? And, you know, I'm an athlete of concern, you know. But um, one thing Robert adopted early was no drinks of uh, uh, sugar, no drinks of anything. I, 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 I strictly cut out everything. I've been water, I've been on water most all my life. All my life. And I, 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 I treat you water. My grandparents never bought it. I, yeah. My Ever. Mom, yeah. They and always I, told me it was poison. Exactly. Right. So water can prevent poor defecation, which means water can aid you in going to the restroom and having regular bowel movements. Why? To help you lose the weight. How? To help you get rid of the toxins. But that's toxins. one of the two reasons why you're dehydrated. That's right. Because of lack of water. The lack of water. One, because what you're eating, consuming, but right. really because the water, lack of water. Yeah. Many people have poor defecation problems due to weak intestinal mo mobil motility, a problem caused by lack of water in the body. Drinking a cup of warm water before every meal, before every meal, don't sit down and tell the waiter, yes, I'll have some cold water. No, nah, get, get it without the ice. Get it without the ice, because you're setting yourself up. And then you're already going sitting there and probably eating some meat or eating some high in starch, some high with oils and grease and that are, that are plant-based. You know, you're eating these old synthetics. You know, this is, this is what we do. But then we're gonna tip them, and then we're gonna say, "Hey, I went to the best place on earth, and it was amazing." And you, you, you took your whole family, but you sat there and you drank cold water, which solidified, you know, your blood. 
you know, to make everything that you're now fixing to consume just stay trapped within, trapped within. But drinking a warm cup of water before every meal can warm up our intestinal, I mean our intestine, intestines, reducing the risk of poor defecation. That good? You know, so these are techniques that are simple, that are easy, that you just have to just turn the switch, you know? Hey, I'm just gonna switch. I, I'm not gonna put the ice in. I'm just gonna drink my water room temperature or warm at 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees. You can, you can take it and put it in there. And like I said, watch your nerves and your muscles and your, and, and your capillaries all begin and your cells all begin to work in, in harmony. That's what, that's what you're after. I mean, I, I see tremendous, I mean, uh, uh, countless elderly or older people, you know, because they've been traditionally under the, under we just the, seen under a, the... We just seen a woman at Hobby Lobby, and my husband was talking to her about sugar. She was overweight. She was in a wheelchair. Mm -mm. She was out there ringing the bell for... Sal the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army, come get some, come do the toys for Tots or whatever, donation, and she offered us some candy. And I said, mm -mm. no, ma'am, we don't do candy. You sure your daughter can't have candy? I said, you can try and so ask her. <laughs> I kept walking and my husband kept talking to her, but to make a long story short, after we went in Hobby Lobby and came back out, she was like, I cannot, I have to have sugar. I mean, you could tell this lady takes a lot of medication. She's, she's very, on 13 she, medications. She's very overweight. You could tell. She was you obese. Could just, you could just see it. She was obese. You could see it. And uh, she's like, I can't live without sugar. She put her soda up. I can't live without sugar. See, I said, no, you can live longer without sugar. Bing, and bing, it bing. And it, hit, it struck a nerve for her. Yes. So she's like, I thought about what you said when we came out. I thought about what you said. So I gave her a business card and gave her more insight on, hey, how to put water in her diet. I got a bottle of water. She out there in the cold drinking this cold water. <laughs> I was like, you want to lose that weight? I know you do. Well, I'm on 13 medications. I was like, oh, wow. I said, if you just drink warm water, you probably won't need one of them. She looked at me like, what? Do you have a car? Yes, I have a car, ma'am. I, I have a company, too. We can get you in 30 days back to healthy living. It's that simple, guys. It's simple. You just got to want to put your mind and set your mind on, hey, I have to accomplish something for myself. And once you make this a routine or habitual, it'll be something that will carry you into your, to, to your ripe old age. That, and that's what we're striving for. Let's not perish you're before our time. Feel it. You're, you're, I'm telling yeah. you, your gut, your back, your muscles is yeah. gonna feel it after you drink consistent, you drink consistent within two to three weeks. Oh man, your body's gonna be thinking, thanking you in so many ways. I mean, I mean, if you talk to your water and tell it how much you love it, you have to. You have to understand this is your best friend. This is your best friend. But like we say, we're gonna touch on warm water and weight loss. We know we all want to lose a few extra pounds, or some of us are, are obese and and on medications that do inflame us, and and and, and are um, habitually uh, um, under attack with food. I mean, but it's not even just weight loss; it helps the gut. Yes, I don't care how big you are, how small you are, how skinny you are. It helps the gut tremendously. It's like a magic. It's like magic to the gut. The gut just it just receives and reacts to it. It just loves it. It takes that tire completely away and soothes the gut. And I, I just love the gut. That's my favorite thing to talk about, <laughs> the gut. Because why? I'm going to keep telling you this. The gut sends signals the to the brain. Right, the the gut is so important. The, the core is so important. And that water does something right. magical to the gut. I'm telling you right now, that's going to be the first thing you see yeah. um, disappear is the gut. Right. And for all my people, like I said, who want to lose weight or who are struggling, warm water, okay? Drinking warm water first thing in the morning helps you shed excess pounds. The hot water will increase your body temperature, okay? Which will increase your metabolism. So you're talking about metabolism. Especially with that key line. And allow your body to burn more calories. 
Who don't want to burn calories in their sleep? That's why I didn't work out. We didn't work out. That's why I we didn't just have to now work start out. working out. That's why I did not have to do a hundred pounds. Out. No working out. I didn't have to do no working out. I had my herbal teas. The most working out we did was hiking and sitting in the in the woods. Yeah. And meditating in, right. in the peace. And, and grounding. I, and I grounding. would walk and ground and, and like I said, oh, that that's another energy that's internal with pain as well as um, getting the blood flow and sending positive uh, uh, stimulants into the brain. We have to get in tune, like I said, with the land, with nature, with our ancestors, what they used to do when there were no doctors, when there was perfect health, when there was perfect health. Come on, all right? So for all those, yeah, who want to lose weight, try it, try it. Call us and let us know next week or, you know, how you're doing. Um, I, I ran in here today because I, I had to go to the restroom, which I do more times than none, but I've in, I've 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 upped, upped this water. Yeah, my water intake. intake yeah, again. yeah, I've upped it because uh, I know winter's coming, and uh, now I've made it warmer. You know, because I want my metabolism to keep pushing out, and uh, and I I, I want to get I want to. And I know a, I know a lot of people don't like to drink water because they say it makes them pee a lot, especially when you first start. I I believe it's because your body is. Um, pushing so much toxins mm -hmm. out so you're constantly going to the bathroom cool. but after a couple of weeks of that you you stop going to the bathroom yeah. and your body starts holding Absorbing it, holding yeah. on to more of the mm -hmm. water so you're not going pee as much so it's just it's just a step that you have to go through to get the toxins out and your body starts hydrating and then it won't be that way that's right that's right um, so for all my people who are suffering and also um, warm water is great for look at that here Look at that hair. Oh, and that's probably that. why my hair has grown so much. Hair. Yeah. So much. Yeah. I can't stop it. It's just growing like yeah. wildflowers. Look at that. I mean, I can't believe how fast my hair is growing, you know. I, I, I mean, my hair is just, I mean, that warm water, just look at that hair. <laughs> Feeling this out. I am, guys. Heck yeah. Get you some warm water, too, and you will, too. Because uh, your body's going to let you know. All right. But for hair, I mean, essential for hair. Just some warm water guys because your hair is living huh alert huh like a plant we it's are plants. living we are plants it's a plant let's water ourselves with some warm water you can put some nutrients in there like she said some key lime some ginger some cayenne pepper you know make I you tell some my daughter teas. all the time come in the room and let me spray your plant that's right and i spray her her dreads with alkaline water that's right right but for your hair warm water Consuming a lot of warm water gives energy to the nerve endings in the roots of your hair. The roots. Come on. Come on. Make it tingle. Come on, you tree. Come on. You just want to be a shrub? Or do you want to be a tree? What do you want? Come on, you seriously. Want you want to be red with You trees. want to be a tree. I mean, come on. That gives off oxygen, which means energy to others. A water holds oxygen. That's right. So, so you're putting oxygen in straight into the bloodstream. And that's what it's doing to the brain. That's what this water's doing. It's sending oxygen in the blood, oxygen in the cells, oxygen to the brain. And then the oxygen makes electricity. Who energy? Inside the body, inside the brain. You become electric. Give me some love on that. Electric. Ah. But anyway, which makes the okay, which makes which makes or activates growth. Keeping it hydrated and moisturized, which can fight against dry scalp and dandruff. Andrews. How many people got flakes? So if you got flakes and you people are suffering flakes. for that, check your water levels. But make sure they're warm. Make them warm so that what? So that they could uh, give energy to the nerve endings, you know, and, and the roots. Come on, because that's the issue. That's what's not getting uh, hydrated. That's what's not getting moisture. Oh, we want to go put the oil in there. We want to go get the shea butter. We want to go get everything. No, it all starts internal. It's a system in here. It's a universe in here first you must attend to. It's a universe inside you must attend to first. Then the outside will start manifesting itself. And then you can add, in, then you can add the other uh, uh, essentials to it. But first, guys, we got to go inside and diagnose inside. And warm water is number one key. All right? So 
we come to the we come to the point where we say, how do warm water, how to drink warm water in a correct way? How to drink warm water in a correct way? Oh, I guess. How to drink water in a correct uh -huh. way? How do you guess? What do you think? I mean, is this a, a surrounding the times? Um, everything. Know, it's just everything that it's everything we we primarily discuss. I know discuss. that you should drink as soon as you get up. Okay. I know that you should drink it before you eat. Okay. I know you should drink it before you get in the shower. Okay. And I know you should drink it before you go to bed. All right. All right. All so right. I, those are just some things I know you should. Them just some. This is that's what she knows. That's what she's practiced, guys. That that's what she's made habitual into a routine, into a successful now lifestyle, to where there are results being activated daily. You know, come on, that's what we're after. And also drink it when you're hungry. Right, Don't be right. fooled by hunger. So, how to drink warm water the correct way. Number one, drink warm water every day Oops, when you wake up. That's one for me. And I recommend three glasses yeah, of warm water. Yeah, like water. about three or four. I say make it your breakfast. <laughs> make it your breakfast. Don't Th break fast. Yeah. Drink water. Don't break fast. <laughs> drink warm water. Drink warm water. Don't break fast. Drink warm water. Okay? Number two, drink water. Drink warm water before meals. Drink warm water before meals. So you tell the waiter, I don't want no ice in my water. Okay? You tell them you don't want no ice in your water. You even ask them, nah, you don't want them to warm it up. He'll probably put in the microwave. <laughs> we don't do microwaves we over here. We don't do radiation. Not over here. Okay. So number three, all right, drink water when you are hungry. Drink it when you're hungry. Because you ain't hungry. <laughs> you just ate 30 minutes ago. An <laughs> hour ago. You ain't hungry. 20 minutes ago. You just fooled. Your body's been tricked because whatever you ate, you just got cravings. You have you have all these issues going on because your body's sending these signals in your brain because, because you're, you're addicted getting with these, these chemicals. Not just that, you're not getting the essentials that the body needs. So it keeps sending out signals. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty because you're not getting the nutrients the body needs. Distracted. So you are still putting garbage in right. and the body's signaling you that it's not getting fulfilled, it's not getting the nutrients it needs, it's not getting the hydration it needs. So you're tricking, you're tricking your body every day. Okay, okay, okay. So get these facts and let's, 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 let's execute these facts. All right, number four, drink warm water at least one or one and a half liters a day. You know, I'm gonna tell you that's like, what, 64 ounces, uh, how much a gallon? I mean, seriously guys, Try, try to try to put that in your body if you're really serious about your health. And measure it if you have to. Yes. Come on. Let's let's do this. Okay? That's minimum. <laughs> That's minimum. That's minimum, guys. That's minimum. We told you about Tom Brady. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm a water hero. I, 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 Tom Brady is 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 off the chain. The, the man is a handsome man. Super superhero. The, 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 and guess what his power the man, is? The man. I mean, he's a water. The guy, the guy still looks like in his youth. Water. How are you behind the? How are you back there? Q being water. At Forty years old. Water. Dominating the league. Water. Year after year after year after year after. Water. I think 17, 18 years. Water. The proof is in the pudding. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so let's 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 make this a legacy, guys, because that is you, that is us, that is what we are here to do. You know, pick somebody. Don't don't idolize what they do. Don't idolize them. Idolize what they do. That's positive. That's winning. That's working. That's right. You know, they're good habits. You know, all right. So number six, drink warm water after you take a bath or a shower. Drink warm water, okay? Okay, seriously, drink your warm water after you were taking a bath. Because I believe, I, I'm not sure, but I, I know you're, maybe some people put that warm water on the outside, but you must put it on the inside, okay? And also my last one, number six, is drink warm water before you go to bed, all right? Drink warm water before you go to bed. And like we were saying, guys, 
Cold water, just to touch real quick, because we got to sum it up, we got to wrap it up. Cold water makes mucus thicker and difficult to pass through the respiratory tract. You know, so come on, that's what we're fighting with. You know, we didn't have refrigerators back in the day, and they didn't go get no cold water. Cold water, everything was outside. Um, the temperature of the makeup of the nature. Okay, so make um, make uh, con it makes congestion worse. Uh, it triggers migraines and. Um, it's just something that is not good for our body. Only one benefit cold water is, is when we are overheated, and that's due to exercise or maybe some stress. Cold water. And that might be dangerous. And that could be dangerous. And could it, could that could be dangerous that's because right. now you're going to put the body into shock, and you don't want to do put the body into shock. And guess what, guys? Warm water makes you less thirsty. You know, so take And you can do a test. Yeah. Take some ice and just put it in, a, put it in your shirt. You ever have somebody come and put <laughs> ice in your shirt? It just shocks you. You're like, oh, you even be mad. Yeah. That's what you're doing to the inside of the body. When you put ice water into the body, you right. shock it. You put it into shock. And like she said, when we were all in the womb, we were not in cold water. We were we swimming were, in warm water. Yes. And, and, and in tune with our parents, you know, getting their nutrients and the, the system working effectively and efficiently. And then we come out and we hit earth, and now we want to change it all up. But I feel like water is the only thing that impacts the intestine because people just think the stomach, but they don't really think about the intestines and what's inside there and how big it is, how long it is, and how many curves and turns and ups and twists and it go, that's, that, that's in there. So what's going to impact that? What's going to have that full force to, to, to go in like the ocean? in through those curves through the turns through the grits up down curve around tide all inside of there to water to admit. warm water that's right guys. it's going to flow through all of all those tunnels all of that inside of your gut inside of your stomach so pushing guys. stuff through there because the food if you think about it because people don't eat the right foods they're going to get stuck the intestine goes this way so, so now you got food stuck this way and it's supposed to go up now the food and it, it's, it's not being pushed through no. and it's not flowing it's like just pipes. stuck on your, your on your on your intestinal so that's what track water you, does. now you gotta go clean your colon it's your now ocean you, inside your, your universe yes. that keeps the universe flowing okay so guys we hope you took something from this uh today from the water uh warm water today and uh we, so we hope you take something from this today. Sorry about that, guys. But um, that warm water is essential and uh, the benefits that it will produce within your journey of health. So um, tune in next week or tune in Thursday. We'll be back 6, six to 7. 6 to 7. 6 to 7. Boss up Houston. That's right. And, yeah. um, and the, uh, naked truth. the naked truth. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, be, be on point with your journey of water, you know, or your health, you know, and understand how essential to keep everything flowing and balanced, all right? And if you're interested in alkaline water, you can call us Tuesday. Uh -huh. That's the number again, Hush. 832-649-8406. If you're in the Houston area, we mm -hmm. deliver um, um, alkaline water, and we would love to help you on your water journey. That's right. So thank so you. We love you. We and, love you. Uh, we like you. Drink that warm water. It's winter. Warm water. And stay warm. All right. Hey guys, how is it going? This is Fanda from Vibrations of the Soil. We want to take you along with us while we get our water. Come with us. So, welcome to Water Tree. Excuse me. How y'all doing? Uh, I'm here at Green Tree Water Tree in Houston, Texas. For all you locals, um, we're filling up right now. We're not really filling up. This is a partial fill up. We're doing classic today. Classic is 8.5 to 9.5 on their pH alkaline scale, which means uh, you're getting in the, uh, the amount of uh, pH so they can uh, stabilize your body and get rid of the acid. But uh, here at Water Tree, they have uh, premium alkaline water and they have hydrogen water and they have plastic water and they have rain water and they have a bunch of other products so it's a place to really come and explore we also do deliver to customers the water if you're an elderly or just don't have time to get it for yourself you can uh, hit us in our instagram or on my uh, 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 Armand, or on my uh, uh, email 
check out the podcast, just get us up however you'll get in touch with us, and uh, we can set up a schedule on how you can get some good water to flush outside. All right, just want to let you know you can get the singles, you can get the gallons, and you can get the big jugs, of course. And like he said, there's an array of other products. This is actually Mr. Chung. He owns this water tree store. He actually cured his wife of blood cancer. It was blood cancer, baby? A blood disease. So, he, so um, yes. So, this is Dream Tree. All right, guys, thank you for coming along with us to get the water. We really, really appreciate it. Signing out.